Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I thought I would do a little bit of a refresh in my living room. So I've got a few new bits for the living room that I'm really excited to show you, but I also wanted to just move things around a little bit. I think it's really good sometimes to just shop your own home. Me and my friend were talking about this. Gathering up all of your knickknacks, all of your decorative accessories, picture frames, and then just having a good swap around the house and it can just really make it feel like it's just been decorated. So yeah, I want to just change a few things up in here, um, add a few things, changing the shelf above the TV. I've got a new TV unit that I need to style up. I have also got some very gorgeous picture frames to share with you from Decenio. So this part of the video is sponsored by Decenio, which absolutely blows my mind because I see a lot of YouTubers collaborating with Decenio. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that they would get in touch with me. But they did so yeah i am so grateful absolutely love the frames and the prints that i've chosen so above me here there was three prints which i did love but i sort of felt like they just blended into the wall a little bit and i wanted something that would just stand out a little bit more and i felt like the space could hold a lot more than just like those three prints so i went on the decenio website and there is literally thousands of prints there is just so much choice something for everybody so whatever you wanted if you wanted prints for the kitchen the kids room like they do everything and they also do the frames as well I went on to because I just really don't have a clue like how to do a gallery wall so one great thing that they have on the website is they have a gallery wall tool so you can go on there pick a room that is similar to yours choose how many prints that you think you're gonna want and it will just show you a different layout you can see how all the different prints look together I spent absolutely ages doing this picking different prints seeing what worked well and it was so much fun like I think that is a really great feature that they have on their site so I will go ahead and show you the prints that I chose okay so these are my beautiful beautiful prints so this big big one here which I just love I think all the tones in these prints go really well with my living room this one is the dusty rose poster if you are interested in seeing the ones that I chose there is a link below which will take you to the exact prints that I chose and the frames I got them all in silver which just ties in really nicely with the room I got a quote that just says you can't control everything sometimes you just need to relax and have faith that things will work out again love the color in the background as well just because there is a lot of silver in this room and there is a lot of whites and it just all just goes so nicely this print is called by the wind i don't know what it was about this one i just thought again really pretty all ties in really nicely with the other ones this is my absolute favorite i love this this is an abstract print i absolutely love these kinds of pictures this almost looks like it's glittery it's not it looks like it's got a bit of sparkle in it but it hasn't but yeah i just think that these together all look really nice so i'm very excited to get them put up on the wall so yeah i will get straight into doing that now Oh my god, I'm in love. I love them. I feel like they make such a huge difference to the room. I might need to tweak them slightly just to make sure they are properly straight. So I am aware that they might be slightly on the wonk. <laughs> but they just look so expensive. They make the room feel so much more glamorous. I would have never thought to get prints in this size and arrange them this way either. But I just copied one of the gallery wall ideas and I actually love it but yeah I probably wouldn't have thought to hang them that way myself so that's been really helpful so I will leave a link below to these prints if you want to have a look at them or any other prints that Decenio offers I also have a 30% discount code for you all so go and have a look because that will give you a huge saving and I'm going to reuse the other prints as well I'm going to find somewhere to put them I am so so happy with them let me know what you think in the comments below right so next I'm going to 
redo this shelf so as you can see i've emptied it i will show you now what it looked like before it was just becoming a bit of a clutter space where if i had any like bits of homeware that i didn't know what to do with i just kept putting it on the shelf and it became way too cluttered so i want it to be a lot less cluttered less stuff so i'm gonna put a few bits that were already up there and then probably a few bits that i haven't found a home for yet so yeah we will just see how it goes i'm gonna put this frame back up there this actually is something that i got off ebay and has a spelling mistake <laughs> let me know if you notice what the spelling mistake is it took me ages to notice and i didn't even know when i bought it um, and then a friend pointed it out and now it's all i can see and i haven't replaced it yet which i should do but i love this quote just reminds me of peter <laughs> i'm gonna put it back up on the shelf because it can just stay up there no one's gonna notice the spelling mistake from up here i think the frames that, that that i've got a lot of those frames i think they're from the range i'm gonna put these candle holders up there as well i'm loving white decor at the moment i don't know where i got these from they were real budget buy they might have been from like pound stretcher or somewhere just gonna put them in each corner i need to get some candles in them actually i'm also gonna put this back up this is a wicker heart that lights up I love it but it does get through batteries like really quickly for some reason i think it was from pound stretcher again i've had it years but yeah i think that's really nice honestly i could just do this all day does anybody else do this and just completely rearrange the house like all the time let me just try and let you see it a bit better there we go you can probably see it a little bit better now that shelf you just can't see me because i am very short i'm gonna pop this up there as well this is a little diy that i did just made a decorative book with some of this contact paper and some stickers it's actually just an old next catalog there is a video where i made that and various other things so i will link it below i'm going to pop this on top of the book i think it's nice just to have like a little decorative thing on top of coffee table books this was from B&M, you might have seen it in my Home Bargains and B&M haul. I'm also going to pop this back up. This is again something that I have had just forever. This was from Dunnell Mill years and years ago so they probably don't do it anymore but it has moved around from house to house with us and yeah it's uh, just something that I have always kept. So I'm going to pop this just at the back where it was before pretty much. I'm going to put this back up as well, I don't know where this was from, just a little wicker heart. I do remember the whole heart decor everywhere and the live laugh love I still have hearts everywhere but yeah the live laugh love signs that were just I had them all over the house as well I remember this is like my favorite purchase at the minute you might have seen it in my haul it is a lined basket I'm gonna leave the lining in for now just in case I end up moving it but I think I'm gonna put that up there as well this was $3.99 in home bargains I absolutely love it I want to get loads of them I just think they could be used for so many things you could use them in the kitchen to put your things in really cool bread basket obviously you can plant things in them as well i'm just going to put it up there as just like um just as a decoration but yeah they are amazing at such a good price i might actually get a few and they could be sprayed different colors so real bargain in home bargains at the minute definitely look out for them i'm going to pop mine there I don't know how well it goes with that colour but I just I love it. I like so many different styles of decor that I just can never ever just stick with one so I like to mix them all in to be honest. I'm gonna put this up there as well. This is artificial but it's one of those realistic ones and it comes with a spray. It's something that my sister got me. It feels so real and yeah you've got a spray that you can spray it so that it obviously smells real as well. I haven't sprayed it for ages and it's last it just lasts and lasts so i absolutely love this this can go up there as well right i've changed my mind again i think i'm going to put some fake flowers in it and see if i prefer it with them in i've got these ones from home bargains they're a little bit off white i'll try and shake them around one more what do we think do we think this is gonna look nah i don't want it to look like it's really dated and old-fashioned 
but it just felt like it needed something in it. Give me your opinions below. I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Let me know what you think. I'm not 100% sure. I might actually put some of my string lights in those flowers as well. That'd look really pretty. Okay, I gave up with the fairy lights up there because they're just gonna be too obvious on show. So I'm gonna get some battery ones to go in with the flowers because I just think that is gonna look really nice. And then I might get some candles, the battery candles, so that I can put them in these white candle holders. So then all of that will just be nicely lit up. Underneath the TV, I have got this, which is new, a new purchase, this console table. I'll show you what it looked like before, because I just had this, this storage box, it was a temporary, it was full of wires and mess, like just, just, I hated it, um, and we just had the sky box just resting on top of it, it just was never going to be permanent, um, but I saw this console table on Amazon, and it was only like £60, absolute bargain, really easy to put together, I've got three drawers, and yeah just a real bargain and I just think it goes in this space nicely I've got to sort the wires out still at the back of the TV but I have put this basket which again I have shown in a haul underneath it and I've just hidden some of the wires in here by pulling them through one of the gaps and then I'm just going to put a throw um, inside it and I think I'm actually going to put the fairy lights around this basket so that you can see the lights through it so yeah I'm just going to decorate this slightly make it look a bit prettier it is a shame that we have to have this absolute monstrosity on the top god there's some dust on there holy moly I think that's come off the shelf above it is a real shame that that is out on show unfortunately there is not a lot i can do about that so yeah it would look a lot better without that but we'll have to just try and work with it um so yeah i'm gonna go and just put a few things on this now just to try and pretty it up a bit Right, that is this area pretty much done. Happy with the changes here. Um, if you didn't know and you wanted to know, the three books there are all of Amazon. I will link everything that I can below. Basket, if I can't remember if I said, was B&M. This basket was also B&M that I've just put my plant in. It's a little bit big actually, but it looks better than it did before. On this little tray, which is from Click Marketplace, I have a discount code, which I will leave below as well. If you want to have a look at Click Marketplace, and get 20% off your first order if you use my code. I got the tray from there. I got this little perfume bottle the reed diffuser and i think that is a home bargains candle there what do we think does it look a little bit better than it did before i think it does could do with something in this corner maybe like a big lamp or something and i need to sort this bit of wall out here that needs painting but yeah i'm pleased with that right next i'm going to sort out the sofa give it a good clean god i love those prints they look so so nice I'm so pleased with them, I keep looking at them. I'm going to give the sofa a good hoover and then just style it up a little bit nicer and prettier. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you 
Okay, now that that is looking all nice and fresh and clean, I'm going to style it up with some throws and cushions and nice pretty tray on my footstool and just make it look really cozy. I absolutely love these fur rugs. I've got loads of them. This one was from Home Bargains. I've got another one that is new from Home Bargains. And yeah, I love these on the arms of the chair. I just feel like it gives it a nice cozy look. Okay, so I'm gonna put some fake flowers back in this vase. This vase is actually not the right color for this room. So eventually I'm gonna have to find one is a better fit, but I'm gonna put it back in the window just because I really like to have some flowers in there. So I've got all my fake flowers. So I'm just gonna rearrange them because sometimes even that just makes a difference, doesn't it? Just taking them all out and then just giving them in a little bit of a move around. So yeah, I'm gonna refill this. All of the fake flowers that I have are either Wilkinson's, Ikea, I love Ikea's flowers. Dunnell Mill, I think is the other place and that is pretty much where I've had all of mine from. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the power How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? So that is my little living room update all finished it's gone really dark outside so the lighting is awful the weather is awful as well it's just not stopped raining but i am really pleased with how different this room actually looks just from a few changes so obviously the designio prints are making a massive difference to the room also just these few new additions cushions have really made a difference so these infills of feather i got them off amazon and the covers i think i bought some cushions from b m and then just took the covers off them these you know that i got from b m as well i mean everything's from b m or home bargains these are my home bargains ones these are like 3.99 so real bargain these cases were from amazon i will link them below they're like a velvet but feathers do come through them so that is a little bit of a pain but yeah that's what i've got for my cushions and then this is just I wish you could feel this. This is the softest thing in the world. This is the home bargains, like a faux rabbit for throw, rug, should I say. So yeah, I'm going to be sitting and stroking that <laughs> a lot. And I've also put the old prints over here. I've put two there and then I've just hung up the quote 
over here. This corner is my ugly corner. <laughs> this is going to have, so obviously this is where the big sofa is and everything, but this corner is going to have a nice big armchair. I think I've found the one that I want. It's taken me forever. I've spent so much of my time looking at armchairs and I think I've found the one that I want. So I'm going to get a big chair there. That box is going to go. That's just got throws and things because that was the box that was under the telly. But yeah, my big chair will go here. I might actually put a big mirror behind it, but I do love that and I'm not sure. I've already got a lot on the walls. And then over here is a little bit, needs a little bit of tweaking. This is a little bit random. I love my salt lamp, but I don't think it quite fits here. And then these, I just took these in just to see what it looked like because they were looking a little bit tatty, these inserts for the wicker drawers. And I actually think it looks nicer and neater without the white on show, if that makes sense. Because all of this is looking tatty and the bows have gone a bit rubbish. So obviously, they were like that, but I actually prefer it without. So that was just to see what it looked like, but I do prefer it. So maybe I'll take them out completely. Um, that vase I'm gonna spray as well at some point. But yeah, there we go. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope it wasn't too random. I just felt like this room needed a bit of a refresh and yeah, just wanted to show you guys as I did it. Feeling nice and tidy and cozy in here. I definitely need to go and do the rest of the house. I'm gonna try and link everything below that I've mentioned or anything I can think of in this room. If not, though, if I've missed anything, just drop me a message. And discount code for Decenio is below. And like I say, all the ones that I chose, the sizes, the frames, everything is linked below. Below. so yeah you can go check out my gallery wall if you liked any of them and i would love to see you again for my next video take care everyone bye